Hi, I'm Edwin Stoll with Pepper and Fuchs tech support team. Today, we'll be covering the Series IO and Pacor ultrasonic sensors demo case, specifically the F77 sensor configuration with Pactware. Today, we will be needing items 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 from the case, which are as follows. The IO Link Master, the USB card that opens as follows, the UC250, the UC800, and the M12 to M8 connector cable. Now let's get into the software. Once you have your laptop open, go ahead and plug in the USB drive that was found in the demo case. Here you will find the DTM files, Packware Wizard, and Packware. These are the building blocks that you will need. Packware is the software that you will be using to configure the sensor. A DTM file or device type manager file is the information the software needs to communicate with a sensor. It should be noted that when downloading any DTM file from the F77 family, all DTM files will be downloaded as well. These files can also be found on the Pepper and Fuchs website under each of the item pages. In here, you can go to the software tab and find the DTM files for each of the sensors and the IO Link Master. In the ultrasonic section, the UC250, you can find the DTM files, Pactware, and the Pactware connection wizard. The setup is as follows. The USB cable into the IO Link Master connected to the M12 and M8 connector cable. And you can choose the either UC250 or the UC800 to connect. Now, let's get into the software. In the USB drive, first click on the Packware software. And you can click on the setup. Next, you want to go back and click on Pactware Wizard and go ahead and install this file. The next thing you want to install is the DTM files, specifically the IOLink Master, which has a folder inside of it where the setup is located. You will also need the UC250, now that you have all the software downloaded to your computer, go ahead and click on the connection wizard. After opening the connection wizard, as long as your files are all installed properly, the connection wizard should automatically connect to whatever sensor that you're using. In this case, we are using the UC250. Under the sensor information tab, you can see our company name, the device name, and the device family. In the output configuration, you can change between your switch point mode, window mode, hysteresis, and retroreflective. Here you can also change the switching points. In the sensor configuration tab, go ahead and select the advanced option. And here you can select your beam width and also select the percentage of which each beam width sees. Also here you can have your echo evaluation, foreground, and background suppression. The next tab is the analysis and echo suppression tab. Go ahead and enable this function. Here you can use the intelligent echo suppression. If you would like to see a great overview of intelligent echo suppression, check out Eric Miller's IO F77 YouTube video. The link is provided below in the comments section. And last, underneath the observation tab, you can see a live view of what the sensor is actually seeing and doing. 
Thank you for tuning into our video. And if you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.